Uh, welcome back to Stay Focused. Uh, today we're chatting with Jamie Santuccio uh, from the Emerald Necklace Conservancy in Boston, and we're very proud sponsors of their summer concert series and what's happening there. Um, and she's our the events manager. So welcome, Jamie. Thanks for joining us to give us a, a little bit of an idea of what's happening in our beloved parks. So uh, like you said, I'm the events manager for the Conservancy. We work to steward the 1100 acre Emerald Necklace Park System in Boston, which you are a very proud supporter and we're so grateful for your partnership Always happy for the years. Yeah. So I do all of our events, which as you know right now um, has been a little bit challenging, but I work on our summer concert series and we have movie nights in the parks, fitness programs. We do several fundraisers throughout the year, which I manage our annual meeting, which is typically kind of a forum where we talk about something big that we're working on. Um, so of course, this whole situation has changed a lot of things for ourselves and then for everyone else um, in the world right now. But for us specifically, we've been having to kind of shift our focus from in-person events to doing some online virtual engagement stuff with our audiences. Really what does that look like for you guys, Jamie? Yeah. Um, so right now we're working on really trying to connect people with the parks in a virtual way. Our mission is to connect people with parks and we're still trying to do that. The parks we're really lucky are open right now for passive recreation. So I think our viewers are probably, thank you for passive recreation. What does that mean? Can I go for a run? You can go for a run, um, but remember to maintain proper social distancing, keep six feet away, wear a mask and um, you know, follow the guidelines from the CDC, the city of Boston, town of Brookline, the state of Massachusetts. And that's really important when you're in the parks. Like I said, passive recreation, that's basically walking through the parks, going for a run, getting your exercise, taking a deep breath out in the parks, but no playing on playgrounds or sports activities, that kind of stuff. And no gatherings, right? gatherings exactly. well that's a really a big impact for your organization, which especially as events manager we can't hold any events in the parks right now um, but you know we're finding from a lot of park users and a lot of our supporters like yourself who are realizing even more deeply than we already knew beforehand how important these parks and open spaces are I mean there's 1100 acres of parks that you can go and explore and it's so nice right now when you're stuck in your house for so long to go out and walk through the parks and have that space and connection to nature which i mean even for me who works in the parks day in and day out i'm appreciating it so much more than i ever have before indeed in it's fact you know even before i knew it was okay um, to be out using the parks i had to post something in the window of our office to say how grateful are you for these parks right now yeah definitely and you know we're we're so grateful also for all of the maintenance workers and people who are still working in the parks to maintain them and keep them clean yeah. from Boston, Brookline and the state of Massachusetts. I mean, they're also frontline workers in this pandemic and they're out there every day um, making sure, you know, can't go on playgrounds and but making sure the park is still clean and safe. Um, so we're really grateful and thankful for them too. Great. So, so what are some, uh, you would mention um, doing some online interactive stuff with the parks? What does that look like for you guys? So we're sending out our e newsletters a little bit more frequently now. So if people aren't on our e news, you can go onto our website emeraldnecklace.org and sign up to join our e news, and you'll be getting really bi-weekly messages now. We're doing Great. online educational stuff. So we're doing scavenger hunts that you can find online, different stuff you can do with your kids at home if you're um, you know, trying to find activities, which I know a lot of <laughs> families are right now. So you can teach them about life cycle trees, water cycles. Um, like I said, we have scavenger hunts and drawing activities, nature journaling, which they can do, which learn, teaches them how to connect to nature. We have a symphony online that you can download and listen to which is actually inspired by the necklace. It was composed by a resident of JP, actually, Andrew Liss, through the BSO. Oh, yeah. yeah. So he made a three-part symphony, which it was inspired by the Emerald Necklace in Frederick Law Olmsted. You can go online on our website, emeraldnecklace.org slash here for you, and you can find all of that information, all of these materials, listen to a symphony, stare out into the parks, and relax a little bit but as you know everyone's been so is so busy but now we have a little bit of time on our hands so we're able to kind of transfer that that education that we wanted to be sharing online with with an even 
larger audience, which is kind of a positive outcome. Great, great. So do you guys have any events that you would like to uh, share with the with our viewers that are we coming do. up soon? Yeah, so next week is Earth Week. Earth Day is on the 22nd of April. So we have a lot of fun stuff happening. We have a few different e-newsletters that are going out next week with different ways of being involved in Earth Week. Lots of stuff going on on our social media. You can follow us on Facebook and Instagram and Twitter. Um, and then we also have Olmsted's birthday, Frederick Wall Olmsted, who built these beautiful parks in the late 1800s. So we are doing a live um, Zoom kind of watch party of this PBS documentary about Olmsted and how he built these parks and so many others all over the country and world. Um, and so we're doing, uh, Evan Bradley, who's our marketing communications coordinator, is doing a Zoom kind of live stream and then a Q&A afterwards. Well, thanks for all of your, uh, all the hard work that you put into um, maintaining these parks and doing events and kind of keeping people, most importantly, I think, engaged with the parks. And I, I think that's a really good point you have is like people are getting out and discovering areas of the parks they didn't even know were there before. I always have to put a plug in for Franklin Park because there's yeah. so much there that people have no idea even exists. And it's so true. Yeah, yeah. So, I mean, it's 500 yeah. acres of parkland. Franklin Park. That's huge. Yeah. It's Boston's yeah, it's, largest park. Um, yeah. There's so many places. The Woodland. It's not stuff. just the pond. It's not just the pond. <laughs> or the no. Arboretum. So. Yes, which are wonderful places, but awesome. it's so true. There's yeah. so much there. Excellent. Well, thanks for joining me today. Thanks for getting the word out there a little bit more with us. I um, hope all is well with you and your family and, and your co-workers. And uh, certainly look forward to seeing you guys this summer from a good six foot distance um, and uh, just kind of still being out there and enjoying our, the space that surrounds us. So. Yeah, thank you so much for having me, Randall. I hope to see you in the park soon. We'll six see you there. Away. Thanks, Jamie.